Hello there. You may have noticed that Intel laptop chips have different suffixes like U, H, and P and are unsure what they imply. Understanding the difference can make or break your next laptop purchase. With that said, let's find out what they mean. What are Intel's U chips? It's time to upgrade that old, slow laptop to a shiny new one. You are out there in your favorite electronic store, wanting a slim and lightweight laptop that you'll largely use for work and internet browsing. What you might not know is that a slim and lightweight laptop will most likely have a U chip. The U stands for ultra low power, and that's pretty much it. These are chips that aren't necessarily the greatest in terms of CPU performance, but instead are low power chips designed with power efficiency in mind. They have lower clock rates, fewer cores, and perhaps most crucially, a very low thermal design power. For example, the Intel Core i5-1265U has a 15 watts rating and can turbo up to 55 watts in short bursts. With that said, some U chips can operate at as little as 9 watts. These chips are generally easy to cool, and depending on the design of the PC, they may even be passively cooled. So if you intend to use the laptop for performance tasks, like editing pictures in Photoshop, this is not the chip. What are Intel's P chips? Now that you're familiar with U chips, you had a change of heart and decided you probably need a middle of the road alternative. Let me introduce you to Intel's P series. These are chips found on thin and lightweight computers, similar to the U series. However, power consumption and performance have increased slightly. P chips consume a little more power, 28 watts to be exact. That's nearly double, if not quadruple, what a U-series processor requires. As a result, the power and thermal needs for these processors are higher, and you'll require more robust cooling. But at this time, there's nothing that would make a thin and light laptop thicker than it should be, and with proper cooling, it shouldn't be an issue. By now, you're wondering whether you should buy that $300 laptop or go for that $1,000 Ultrabook. Well, U-Series CPU are typically found in laptops priced between $300 and $600, while P-chips are found in higher-end Ultrabook notebooks such as the Dell XPS 13, which costs well over $1,000. Because of the extra thermal headroom, what are Intel's H-chips? Finally, we're getting to the top. You have now found out that you don't need a slim and lightweight laptop, but you need a laptop that will handle everything that you throw at it. Well, for good reason. Intel's H chips are largely regarded as the company's enthusiast lineup for laptops. The H lineup, unlike the P line and U line, is not designed to fit inside a thin, lightweight laptop. While those chips can handle up to 28 watts, a H CPU can handle up to 4 to 5 watts. Granted, that's not even close to a desktop CPU like the Core i9-12900K, which consumes 125 watts, but that's a lot for a laptop. Remember. These laptops have enclosed, tightly fitted compartments where internal components don't have much room to breathe. That isn't to say they aren't good. In fact, they're about as excellent as it gets when it comes to computers. Another advantage of H chips is that they are extremely similar to their desktop counterparts. While the Intel Core i9-12900K is designed for desktop PC, the i9-12900H or the i9-12900HK is designed exclusively for the best laptops available. Of course, I mean it when I claim H-chips can't fit into thin and light PC. These components are typically found in gaming laptops, which are physically larger and thicker than conventional laptops in order to compensate for the heat generated by the internals. If you put one in an ultralight PC, it will thermally throttle throughout the majority of its lifespan. Intel U, P, and H, which one should you get? It largely depends on how much you're looking to spend on a laptop and what you want to do with it. As we mentioned, U chips are present on thin laptops with price tags between $400 and $700. These PC are good for office work, browsing the internet, installing essential programs, and other things without involving games or heavier work. If you want to do heavier work on your PC, you'll probably ship your sites to Ultrabooks over $900, which will, most certainly, come to beat you. Finally, if you buy a gaming laptop, chances are it comes with an H chip if it's Intel powered. With that said, there are various Intel laptop chip lineups since no two laptop users are the same. Some people may not care about performance and would rather have a thin laptop that performs well for work or studying. Others may choose something really powerful, even if it means sacrificing portability. Hopefully, you now know the difference.